Welcome everybody. So I'm Alessia, I'm a director of a master in quantitative finance. So I'm very happy to be here to present this fantastic program at the UCD Smurfit Grade Business School. So in any case, if you have question, do not hesitate to write down in QA session. In today's presentation, I'm going to give you the main aspect and the positive aspect of this master. So welcome to everybody. So you see that we can define SmartFit like Howard and you are going to learn a lot of magic tricks for your future life. So as I said, I'm Alessia, I'm academic director of this master. And uh, what I do when I'm not uh, uh, academic director is teaching econometrics at master and the bachelor. And also I do a lot of research applied econometrics to macroeconomics, to finance. So you can have all this information about myself, um, Twitter, LinkedIn, and my website. And um, the second most important person of better, say the most important person this master is Anne-Marie, who is the program manager of the master. So any uh, bureaucracy issue will be solved by this uh, fantastic person. So most probably you know how is it uh, the smart graduate business school. So it's not exactly like Hogwarts outside, but uh, in my opinion, could be a little bit better than uh, Hogwarts. So uh, SmartFit is a leading uh, business school in Ireland, and uh, our master in quantity finance is one of the best master in finance that uh, we have. This master is intensive full-time 12 months program, and uh, as uh, an overview, this master combining mathematical modeling for financial market and pricing and aging of financial securities. So this program is very uh, important because it is able to prepare students for a future job market uh, where a student uh, has a necessity to work with theoretical, mathematical and computational skills to pursue a career in quantitative finance. So in terms of the main statistics, so as I said before, uh, this master comes at 12 months. We have also a part-time option of 12, uh, 24 months. I will spend some words later. So the students are employed after six months at 100%. So it's very rare that the students are not able to find a job. And uh, uh, the class size is not so big and there is usually between 25 and 40 students every year. The average uh, uh, age is around 24, even if uh, we have a lot of students with some work experience. So if uh, uh, you are not directly coming from the bachelor, but uh, you work a lot before deciding a master, you are very welcome in our master. This year, there is um, a bad situation in terms of uh, gender equality because we have a few female students, uh, but uh, usually we are 50-50%. That's uh, something that uh, we aim in the future and particularly uh, next year. In terms of uh, internationalization, this master is very international in the sense that uh, we have in the last couple of years, a lot of Irish students, most probably due to the COVID-19, but uh, in general, we had a lot of international students Chinese, Indian, American, European student, and some African student. So you see that all around the world, uh, you can find uh, different uh, student. In terms of objective, I can tell you that uh, this master is something that is different from a classical and traditional master in finance because there is a balanced program of finance and computational methods. So why is quite important in this sense? So let's consider that you decide to take this kind of master. So what is your future in terms of job market? So you can take this master and after you will get a fantastic job as a bookmaker 
or um, an employee in uh, age fund, uh, or uh, you will become a broker or working in commercial investment banks. If you prefer the public sector, you can work in a central bank of an international institution, such as the World Bank, uh, the European Investment Bank, IMF, or you can decide, for example, to enter in a PhD program. And uh, this uh, master is uh, very suitable if you want to pursue the academic career. We have a lot of uh, uh, staff, uh, professor at UCD in finance, who got this master before entering uh, in a PhD in finance or in quantitative methods, because uh, we uh, equip a student with all important aspects in finance and in mathematical methods. So most probably you want to know uh, what uh, uh, is uh, the curriculum, what are you going to suffer during uh, the next year. So in the first term, which is called the autumn semester, you're going uh, to study uh, the basic course. So what does it mean? You're going to learn something about the finance with financial analysis, derivative security, capital market instrument, and financial theory. And you will have two important um, quantitative courses, quantitative methods for finance and financial econometrics. And I will teach financial econometrics in the first term. So as you can see, even if uh, you had a bachelor in commerce or bachelor in engineering or bachelor in mathematics, you will get the basic information in finance and computational methods. In the second uh, term, spring uh, trimester, you're going to learn some advanced topics that are specific just for you, for your group of students. So what does it mean? It means that the class will be smaller in the sense that in the first uh, trimester, you're going to attend these courses with other students in other master in finance at the UCD. In the second uh, trimester, you're going to attend uh, some specific courses for your group of students of quantitative finance, and that are numerical methods, advanced statistical computing methods for finance, advanced derivative securities. In the summer trimester, you can have two choices. For example, you can decide to write a master thesis, which is called a research dissertation. And you can decide to work with a professor and write your thesis on a specific topic that you choose. And it's something that it happens. Some students decide, for example, if they want to force an academic career with a PhD, and you can decide to take this option. That is very, very important to understand if you are suitable, if you like working in terms of research. But uh, if you prefer to enter in the job market directly after the master, maybe a summer internship is the best option for you. So what does it mean? We are helping you uh, to find a suitable internship or you can find by yourself. So don't worry uh, about in this moment, but uh, for sure, any student wanted an internship was able to find an appropriate internship. So during the summer, you're going uh, uh, to have this work experience. And uh, there is a high uh, probability that this uh, uh, internship will uh, become a full-time job after that. And I will give you the sense in a uh, few slides later. Or maybe you decide that uh, you like studying further exam, uh, other courses. You can take uh, some uh, among these bunch of courses with different topics, and uh, all these exams during the summers are usually crash courses uh, uh, that are for one or two weeks. So don't worry, you're not going to spend August uh, studying uh, or attending courses. So in terms uh, of um, uh, other uh, possible option for exam, I didn't tell you that uh, there is uh, something that is special for you or quantitative uh, uh, finance student is that in the first term, you can attend a course uh, from Yale University. Yes, from this American University. And specifically, this course is uh, called the Security Analysis Evaluation. This course is provided to MBA students at Yale. We have uh, this uh, partnership, and uh, uh, you will stay in Dublin 
and uh, you will attend remotely uh, this lecture. And uh, we are going to select students suitable to attend this kind of course according to uh, the background. And uh, of course, uh, you're not going to have one course more, but uh, you're going to replace uh, a financial analysis with this course. So it means that uh, is a great opportunity. It's something that is a unique specific of this master. If you decided to take a master in finance, unfortunately, there is not this opportunity for you. In terms of part-time students, I said before that uh, we uh, can allow students to take exam in two years. But uh, uh, keep in mind that if you want uh, the part-time uh, um, system, uh, you need to be in presence uh, to attend uh, courses, okay? So we don't uh, allow a recording or no presence. So the presence is always important. So you can arrange uh, your commitment with uh, your job. And it happened that uh, we hosted a lot of part-time students in the last year and uh, they uh, went a very, a very good during the course. So it's a great opportunity for everybody. In terms of internship, so I can tell you that in the last year, uh, this option was selected by almost half the students in our course, even if during the dark moments of COVID-19. So I report in this slides a list of institutions where students were able to ensure an internship. And keep in mind that in some of them, students were also able to uh, get a permanent or full-time job later. For example, you can see uh, Bank of America, Mary Lynch, or uh, you can see uh, JP Morgan, uh, Good Body Stock Brokers, uh, Halide Harish Bank, uh, so we have also Ernest Young, and uh, in Tesa San Paolo, Bank of Ireland, AXA, and uh, some, uh, not only Irish, but uh, uh, international uh, institution and uh, uh, a sanctuary. So you see that uh, we have a lot of good experience. And I can tell you that it's something that you don't need to worry if you are interested. You just uh, uh, ask us help if uh, you want, and there will be some specific uh, uh, meeting uh, to help you uh, to ensure an internship. So in terms of a research project, usually uh, some students decide that to uh, take this uh, path when they want to take a PhD. It's not necessary, but if you want to take a PhD, maybe we can suggest you to sit down and think about a research project that could be uh, useful for your future career. It could be, for example, a proposal for uh, your future uh, PhD. And uh, we had a successful student entering this path and got later a PhD. In terms uh, of other uh, elements, uh, I would like um, to tell you that uh, even if uh, uh, there is not a requirement of coding, uh, in this uh, master, we ask uh, students to work a lot uh, with mathematics, finance, statistics, and of course, with coding. And uh, during uh, your master for different topics, uh, you're going to see how you can deal with data with different languages. So for example, in financial econometrics and portfolio risk management, you're going to use MATLAB. For derivative security, you're going to use Python and R, the same for numerical method. So you see that uh, this master is very complete and is very useful to prepare students for the future uh, job market, future career of uh, a person with a background in finance and quantitative methods. So thanks very much for uh, your attention. So I'm very happy now to help to any question. And uh, uh, if uh, you don't have today, you can contact me. And uh, once uh, you will be student, there will be this uh, two other person, as I said before, Anne-Marie. That, uh, who is our program manager. And we have also a student advisor, Nadia, who is a very helpful if you have any kind of issue because it's important that you study, but your wellness is more uh, important for us. So thanks again for participation. So I see that uh, there are some questions. So uh, how many student batch we have for quantity finance? So, 
Thanks for your question. So usually, uh, as I say, we have uh, 25 or 30 in the last year. So as, uh, since uh, I have been uh, uh, director of this master, we had a lot of students, uh, some more the, than 30. And uh, um, maybe in the future, we can have more than 40. It depends uh, on uh, uh, what the student prefer. And that is... Um, uh, a court is, uh, who is always smaller than the one in finance. That uh, is a good point because uh, it's better to work, uh, especially in the second term. So how many days and duration are classes held in a week? So usually uh, we um, set uh, lectures in such a way that there will be four uh, full days and uh, you will have uh, one three days for uh, studying for project. So, uh, was in the last couple of years, and in particular due to the COVID-19, uh, we, especially this year, uh, we concentrate lecture in four days. We don't know exactly next year because, as I said, a lot of uh, uh, courses, in particular in the first uh, trimester, are joined with other master students in finance, in aviation, in renewable energy, and uh, in financial data analysis. And uh, it depends uh, on uh, what's going on in this term. But usually we um, consider four full days uh, and uh, we have lecture in the morning or the afternoon. So I see in the chat uh, something, you know, there are information. So thanks very much, uh, Gillian, for uh, uh, putting this link, this information. Yes, but thanks, uh, La Plate. So. Any other questions? Curiosity? So, so if you have any question, please do not hesitate to take a word or otherwise you can write me an email. I can send you my slides just in case you want a reference. And I hope to see all of you next year as a student of our amazing program. So I can say a couple of minutes online. Okay, so if there are no other questions, so we can stop here, so you have time. Oh, okay, there is a question. When we can expect for the global... So honestly, I have no idea about it. So no, I have no idea uh, when we have uh, a result. Uh, maybe uh, you can ask admission and uh, if you have an email about it. But in case, uh, if uh, you want, you can send me an email. I can investigate later about it. OK. So if there are no other questions, we can wrap up here. And uh, thanks very much for your attention. And uh, I hope to see you in person in uh, September. Bye-bye, everybody.